and welcome to my pottery studio. My name is Sabrina and I'm going to be throwing some mugs for you and also talking about how I got started in ceramics and how I got to where I am today. So this is the Speckled Buff Clay by Laguna. It is one of my absolute favorites to throw with and it's what we're going to be working with today. I like it because it has a nice grogginess to it which basically means that there's kind of like sand in the clay and it gives it a rough texture. And once it's fired, it becomes a really nice light brown with dark brown speckles. It's really cute and I like it a lot. So just sit back, relax, and get ready to watch me throw some pots. So I thought I would try to do this uh, while talking because I imagine that just watching me do this is probably not terribly exciting and maybe you'd like to know more about me. So that's what I'm going to do. Wish me luck because usually when I throw I just listen to like YouTube videos really, like not even music so much. I just you know, put YouTube videos on in the background, I listen to that, uh, I do like podcasts a lot of the time, or, you know, it's just listening to some Panic of the Disco, so that was a good time, that's what these little mugs right here were created to. But yeah, I tried really hard to make the last two actually look the same, but, you know, there's a slight difference there, but I, I don't know, I think I did alright, good enough. And for this one, I think I'm going to try and do more of like a cute little round shape. This is just called centering. And you cone it up, and then you push it back down. And yeah, pretty much what that does is it actually makes it so the clay is like in the center of the wheel instead of like one centimeter off center because, you know, not real good with physics or whatever branch of science or mathematics that would be, but you want it to be like a perfect circle so that everything you do is equally dispersed. So that's what we're doing now. And then you just open it up and you start pulling up those walls and you hope for the best. That's what you do. So I have been doing pottery for almost two years now. Um, it was 
January of 2017. I was like halfway through getting my associate's degree because like I graduated high school and I was like, well, I guess this is what you do. So that's what I did. I wanted to be a nutritionist when I started college and then I realized that I hate chemistry more than anything. Anyways, I ended up taking ceramics as an elective just because, you know, it seemed fun. I'd always been really artistic. So there was like a ceramics one like beginners course that I took for one semester. And then I took the ceramics two, like more intermediate course, and I took that. And then I took it again just because I could and I wanted to and I wasn't sure how else I was gonna do pottery without, you know, taking the class. And I ended up getting a job working in the pottery studio, which was really awesome because I got paid to hang out in the pottery studio. And I learned how to make clay and like glazes. Oops. Whoops. Uh, but yeah, so I learned a lot, and that was a really good time, and then that ended up not working out because of financial aid and other fun college stuff, but you know, that was a really fun time, and I'm really glad I got to do that, even though in a home studio it's not, like, the most useful information, because, uh, like, what you use to make clay is, pretty sure it's just called a clay mixer, that's what we called it, but... It's like a big uh, like cement cylinder kind of thing and you put all the ingredients in it and some water and because uh, that's all clay really is it's like a bunch of dry materials that come from the earth and then water and then you mix it all up and then you get clay it's super cool because like I would make the clay and then I would make the glaze and then I would make a thing and I'd be like wow like I literally made every single part of this. You know, I wasn't out there digging uh, in the earth for the materials, but that's really the only way I could have made it any more of my own. Which would be super fun, people do that. I have never done that. I'm not really sure how the dirt is here. I really have no idea about how to do any of that, but I don't know, maybe someday. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll figure that out or something. So I took that at school and then this last May I graduated and I was like, well, I don't know what to do because over that year and a half I like completely fell in love with pottery and that's what I wanted to do. Goodbye nutrition, I'm just gonna play with clay all day. I got super lucky and thank you universe for helping me out on this one. But I had actually made a friend who had a pottery wheel and a kiln and they were no longer like interested in pursuing it and they also conveniently uh, owned a shop and so I just made a bunch of stuff and sold them to her and then as the months went on I eventually had earned enough to buy her wheel and buy her kiln. That's how I got here. It's October right now, so it's been five months of having a home studio. And that's been a whole journey in itself. And another story for another day. I can already tell it takes me a lot longer to do this when I'm talking. Like, I, I'm not even paying attention to what I'm doing, but it's working out quite well anyways. <laughs> I do have my kiln outside. Um, I'm lucky enough to live on like a, a miniature farm, I guess you could say, and so there's a lot of like buildings that are separated from the house and so it's nice and safe because kilns get like 2000 degrees Fahrenheit and I can see why that would be concerning to have in your house. I actually have the kiln going right now which is quite exciting so I imagine after I do this I'm gonna have to go out there and make some adjustments to it because it's manual. Like there are a lot of things that I really miss about having access to the school studio because it was huge and beautiful and there was actually running water. It's very nice that I can sit here and talk to the camera and not have 10 other people around me wondering what's wrong with me. So instead it's just my cats, which is fine because that's what they do all the time anyways. 
getting rid of some of the, the excess clay down there. I also really need to change my bucket of water. That would mean I'd have to go downstairs and use the shower is usually what I do. I have a hose and a shower and yeah, so that's what I've been doing. Y'all, you gotta start somewhere and this is, this is it for me. Yep, and then I'm just kind of cleaning it up. Uh, making sure everything is nice and smooth. Wow, that was, that was a hair flip. All right. Then I just like to take a little, little credit card rib thing. And that gets rid of all the, the sludge. So then you have a nice, smooth surface going on and then you dry your hands off because they're filthy and you take your wire you go like this you cut it right off all right pick it up and you just set it down and that's that's about it that went better than I thought it would. I'm proud. These are the final mugs that I was able to throw today. I think they all turned out pretty well. I'm just gonna let these dry up a little bit and probably trim them a little bit later today. And I will be filming that, so stay tuned for that video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave me a like if you did and a comment would also be great. I would love to hear what else you would like to see from me. I will see you in the next video.